All right, let's start this video. So welcome everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I don't know what to call these video series anymore. I really liked the term think more, shoot less because I really uh, just subscribe to that mentality in photography, but that's neither here nor there. So today I would like to talk about the Cinestill E6 slide chemistry that they have available. Uh, and I've really, really been digging on the Daylight Chrome, the color reversal bath that they have, and the Blix that they offer. And the cool thing is, is that you can buy these chemistries separately. And so I really like that because the developer tends to go bad way faster uh, than the color reversal or the Blix. That said, none of the E6 chemistry lasts a super long time, so I highly recommend getting a couple packs of the developer and just kind of planning ahead. Uh, don't just develop one roll. If you can help it, wait a little bit and develop a batch at a time. In this video, I won't really go a lot into uh, mixing the chemistry, but I do want to talk about temperature control. So I'm using a sous vide bath in order to keep my chemistry at temperature. And with E6, this is more crucial than any other process in photography. So uh, the recommended uh, developing temperature for this is 104 degrees and you want to maintain a strong 104 degrees but what I noticed is that just in initially pouring in my chemistry I would lose a little bit of temperature so I have to pour in chemistry that it is at 106 degrees and that drops me to 104 degrees once I finish my 10 to 15 initial inversions, finally get the tank into the bath. And so for the first developer, I keep it in the temperature bath the entire time. I want to make sure that the temperature is maintained. The only time I remove it is to do my inversions. And I will check temperature throughout the process and make sure that things are staying at that 104 degrees if they drop too low, you may want to extend your development time. With all these things, you need to do your own testing at home. I don't want to be responsible for uh, anybody's E6 not turning out. You really need to do test strips and make sure that all your film is coming out properly. So in order to do a test strip, I know it's a little bit expensive, but you need to buy a roll of slide film, preferably fresh, and shoot 36 of the same exposure and just cut off small strips at a time and process them and this way you can get a really good gauge of if you need to extend your development time or if something is going wrong and it also gives you the ability to let's say in six weeks you're like I don't know if this chemistry is still good you can actually test it and make sure and make necessary adjustments if your slides are coming out a little bit too dark or whatever. Uh, another crucial thing is in between the three baths going on, you need to wash your film. Now Cinestill recommends to fill the tank entirely and dump it six times. What I do is the Ilford washing method essentially, but I do four baths, so I'll do, I'll fill the tank, invert it four, five times, dump it, I fill the tank, invert it 10 times, dump it, fill the tank, invert it 20 times, dump it, and then fill the tank, and I do another 20 times and dump it. And this has been working great for me, so I've just kind of stuck with it. With all these things, you have to do your own testing. You really need to figure out what works for you and what doesn't, because uh, there's so many variables going on, and temperature being one of the biggest ones. Uh, but I mix all my chemistry with distilled water. Maybe you're using your well water, or maybe you're using, you know, city water. It's all kind of these variables. Each individual needs to do testing to, to make sure that, you know, your chemistry is up to par and that your development times are proper. Here's some example images that I've taken and developed using the Cinestill kit. I was using the Arista kit for a while, the E6 kit that is, and I've switched entirely to using the Cinestill chemistry and I absolutely love it. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, Cinestill makes some incredible products. They make C41 chemistry, they make E6 chemistry, and they make a number of films, and uh, they're pretty exciting. They just came out with a, a new film stock, 400D, and I had asked some questions. Hey, is this just 250D rebranded? It's not. It's its own new film stock, which is really exciting. So yeah, stay tuned. Check out Cinestill. 
they've got incredible products. So now I prefer the Daylight Chrome developer. They make a Dynamic Chrome and a Tungsten Chrome. And what I noticed with the Dynamic Chrome is I needed to shoot it two stops overexposed, so shooting at ISO 25 in order to get slides that looked proper. And here's some examples of it shot at 25. Here's some examples of the Dynamic Chrome chemistry shot at 200, shot at 100, shot at 50, and shot at 25. Now in this photo of my house, notice the eaves, so the area uh, underneath the gutters of my house. There's a lot more shadow detail in the one that was shot at 25 without the highlights blowing out. The one that's shot at 100 is just too uh, dark in the shadow areas for my liking. And so I, anytime I use the Dynamic Chrome Developer, I rate the film two stops or at least one and two thirds over the box speed. So I'm going to end out with this video on a clip of my friend John Lufer and he did this board slide when we were out in Hollywood and I was really excited to shoot with him because he's one of my best friends but also was really excited at the photo. I was so happy with how it turned out. This one is uh, developed in the Daylight Chrome Developer. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for tuning in. I'm hoping to make some more videos soon. Uh, my life is hectic and crazy and busy. I'm working six to seven days a week, uh, but I want to make more time because I realize, oh, I realize the importance of sharing the love, sharing the positivity. Photography is a beautiful community and I absolutely love the community aspect to it. Everybody should remember this is not a competition. This is a community. So spread the love, there's no secrets. Feel free to message me. I'm so happy to help with anything that's going on photographically, any questions you might have. And yeah, spread the love, spread the positivity. Photography is amazing. Thanks again for tuning in. If you like this video, I've got plenty of other ones. Check them out. I'm not really good at this whole YouTube thing. I'm not good at the click subscribe and stuff, but uh, I really do love, you know, just sharing the positivity and uh, the passion that I have for photography. So thanks again for tuning in. Take care.